Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, what we're going to focus on is K7, still unsolving inequalities. But we're specifically focusing on in equations containing fraction. So let's get straight to it. Example one, we have two X all over three minus five is less than are equal to 3x all over 4 minus 21 all over 4. So how would you approach a question like this? It is pretty simple. What we're going to do, we're going to try to eliminate what make these a fraction, right? By finding the lowest common multiple of the denominators. So note that the denominators are 3 and 4, right? So the lowest common multiple of the denominator would be 12, right? And what we will do is to take the lowest common multiple of the denominator, which is three and four, to multiply each term, each individual term. How would we state this in our book? We would state it as 12 times two X all over three plus 12 times negative five is less than or equal to 12 times three X over four plus 12 times negative 21 all over four. What this will allow us, uh, us to do is to get rid of the fraction, right? So note here that we can simplify by using the denominator to divide the lowest common multiple, which is 12 in this case. So if we take each denominator to divide 12, what we'll end up with here, as you can see, three, into three will give us one and three into 12 will give us four. So we'd end up with just four times the numerator, which is just two X. Here, we are just really stating what we have here originally, which is 12 times negative five. To get this term here, it is just four into four that gives us one and four into 12, that gives us three. So we're taking that three to multiply the numerator of three X. And we do the same procedure for this fraction, taking four to divide itself and four to divide 12, which gives us three. And then we take that three to multiply negative 21. At this stage, we can simplify this step some more. So note here that four times two X will give us eight X and 12 times negative five will give us negative 60. And three times three X will give us positive nine X and three times negative 21 will give us negative 63. At this stage, if we take a close look, we know that we have both X terms on both sides of the inequation and constant term on both sides. So what we want to do is to group the like terms on one side. So we're going to focus on the X. We want the X to be on the left. Note that we have positive nine X on the right. So we can transfer this positive 9x by just subtracting 9x from both sides. So what we will have in our book is just 8x minus 9x minus 60 less than or equal to 9x minus 9x minus 63. At this stage, we can simplify what we have here in this line. And when we simplify, all we'll end up with is just minus x minus 60 is less than or equal to negative 63, as you can see here. At this stage, we want to transfer this 60 to the other side of the inequation. And we can do that by adding 60 to both sides. When you simplify, all you will end up with is just negative x is less than or equal to negative three. Are you finished at this stage? No. Why is that so? Because our variable is negative. And note that our variable should not be negative. So what we're going to do to get our variable being positive, we're going to multiply both sides by negative one. So you would state that as negative one times negative X is less than or equal to negative one times negative three. Note that whenever you multiply both side by a negative number or divide both side by a negative number, you must always flip the side. So our answer is going to be X is greater than positive three. Therefore, our solution set is the set of all X values 
such that x is greater than or equal to positive 3. So example 2, we are given 2x all over 9 plus 5 half is greater than or equal to x over 3 minus 1 half. So note here, our focus again is the denominator. So we have 9, 3, and 2 as the denominator. What we're going to do is to find the lowest common multiple of these three numbers. And when we find the lowest common multiple, we're going to use it to multiply each individual term. So note that the LCM of 9, 3, and 2 would be 18. So we're going to use 18 to multiply each individual term. And this is how you would state it in your book. So remember that the bracket implies multiplication. So this is just simply 18 times 2x all over 9 plus 18 times 5 over 2 greater than or equal to 18 times x over 3 minus 18 times 1 half. Note, by multiplying each individual term by the lowest common multiple, it allows us to eliminate the fraction, right? So note here, we can simplify this line. When we simplify, note that 9 into 9 will give us 1, and 9 into 18 will give us 2. So what we're left back with is just 2 times 2x, which is the numerator. Put back our plus sign. Then we simplify this fraction. So 2 into 2 will give us 1. And 2 into this 18 will give us 9. So what we're left back with is just 9 times 5. Is greater than or equal to 6 times x minus 9 times 1. At this stage, we still can simplify some more. So we're going to simplify it. So 2 times 2x will give us 4x. And 9 times 5 will give us 45. And 6 times x will give us 6x. And negative 9 times 1 will give us negative 9. So at this stage, note that we have constant on both sides. And we have variables on both sides. So what we're going to do, we are going to group the x term on the left-hand side and the constant on the right. So if you take a close look at 6x, note that 6x is positive. So we can transfer this 6x to the left-hand side by simply subtracting 6x from both sides. This is how you would state it. So you would state it as 4x minus 6x plus 45 is greater than or equal to 6x minus 6x minus 9. At this stage, you are going to simplify. When you simplify, note that 4x minus 6x will give you negative 2x. Put back here plus 45. And note that 6x minus 6x is going to give you 0. And 0 minus 9 will give you negative 9. At this stage, note that we have constant on both sides. And the constant here are negative 9 and positive 45. We want this constant to be on one side. So positive 45 is our focus. So note that we can transfer this positive 45 to the right-hand side by doing the opposite, which is to subtract 45 from both sides. So you would state it as negative 2x plus 45 minus 45 greater than or equal to negative 9 minus 45. When we simplify this, all we will end up with is just negative 2x is greater than or equal to negative 54. At this stage, all we need to do is to translate this negative 2 to the other side. And we can do that by dividing both sides by negative 2. So you would state in your book, negative 2x all over negative 2 is greater than or equal to negative 54 all over negative 2. Note, whenever you divide by a negative number, you should always remember to flip your sign. So therefore, your solution is going to be x is less than or equal to positive 27. Note too that when you divide two negative numbers, your result is going to be positive. Example 3, we are now given 3x all over 8 minus 1 quarter less than 3 quarter x 
plus 5 over 8. Note here that the denominators are just 8 and 4. So what we want to do is to find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 4, and that is going to be 8 in this case. We're going to take that 8 to multiply each individual term. So if we take 8 to multiply each individual term, we would state it as 8 times 3x all over 8 minus 8 times 1 quarter less than 8 times 3 quarter x plus 8 times 5 8. Note here, by multiplying each term by 8, it allows us to get rid of the fraction. So note, when we simplify this, 8 into 8 will give us 1. So what we left back with is just 1 times 3x. And 4 into 4 will give us 1, and 4 into 8 will give us 2. So what we left back with here is just 2 times 1. And 4 into 4 is 1, and 4 into 8 will give us 2. So what we left back here with is just 2 times 3x, and plus 1 times 5. At this stage, we're going to further simplify. So note that 1 times 3x will give us 3x. And negative 2 times positive 1 will give us negative 2. And note that 2 times 3x will give us 6x. And 1 times 5 will give us 5. At this stage again, it is a familiar stage where we have the x term on both sides and the constant on both sides. Again, we are going to group the x on the left-hand side and group the constant on the right-hand side. So our focus here is 6x. How can we transfer this 6x to the left-hand side? By subtracting 6x from both sides. So what you would write in your book is just 3x minus 6x minus 2 less than 6x minus 6x plus 5. When we simplify this, all we'll end up with, as you know, 3x minus 6x will give us a negative 3x. And here... 6x minus 6x will give us 0, and 0 plus 5 will give us 5. At this stage, we want to transfer this negative 2 to the right-hand side. We can do that by doing the opposite of subtracting 2, which is to add 2 to both sides. So you would state this as negative 3x minus 2 plus 2 greater than 5 plus 2. When you simplify all you would end up with is just negative 3x is less than 7. At this stage, to isolate x by itself, you need to get rid of negative 3. So we can transfer this negative 3 to the other side by dividing both sides by negative 3. So note that you will state in your book, negative 3x all over negative 3 is less than 7 all over negative 3. Remember, whenever you divide by a negative number, always switch your sign. So therefore, our solution is x is greater than negative 2 thirds. All right? Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.